Hey, if you guys are watching this, you probably got a big space you need to keep cool. Well, this is the Porta Cool 260. It's been working great. Let me show you a little bit about how it works, do some pros and cons, all of that. So this model, again, is the 260. It's got the 36 inch fan blade. Right over here, we've got the evaporative media, basically some big heavy duty uh, cardboard filters. Now, this thing is really cool because it's got a reservoir down there that holds about 60 gallons of water, which is why we actually ran it into a water line wasn't too bad is you know a couple hundred bucks to get a plumber to help us out with that uh, so the way this thing works when you're ready to get it going you're gonna first come over turn on the water pump never do this unless there's water in there of course boom you can hear that kicks on down in there's the water and if you're ever not sure they do have that indicator valve right over here uh, this right here is gonna be what's actually gonna allow the water to go up to the top over there that's a bad angle oh there you go so you can see the water is coming down you're gonna to need to have this opened to the left to allow that water to get up there. And so then what they say here is you wanna let this thing get a little bit wet first. You can see immediately it starts to get, uh, you know, it starts to get a little bit more saturated. You're gonna let that go for maybe two or three minutes. Careful when you first turn it on because it will splash out the back if you go you know, like too hot. You can see a little bit right there, but not really a big deal because then we're gonna come right here, go ahead and turn on the fan. It's got that variable speed control. Right here is the lowest setting. You can hear it's not too loud, but you crank it up. Woo! Very responsive, very easy to control, and you can feel it immediately. Even without the water, it's pretty good at moving air around, but obviously the, the big benefit here is that those filters use the water to evaporate the water and then cool down the air as it's blowing out. So I'm about 15 feet away right now, and I can still feel it. This is like somewhere in the mid settings. We've got about 5,000 square feet right here, and this has been a huge, huge game changer. It helps us keep things cool in the summer without needing to do a big, expensive unit. The only other thing worth mentioning is that it will add a little bit of humidity to the air, especially if you're already in a humid environment. So we're gonna go pick up a dehumidifier to help combat that a little bit. But other than that, our students have been loving this. We teach acrobatics and stuff here, so it's really important that we keep it comfortable. We're loving this thing. It's been doing really well for us. Now, the last thing is that when you're done using the water, pump you're gonna go ahead and shut the pump off that's gonna stop the water flow and then they want you to leave this thing running for at least another 10-15 minutes that way you can dry out all the filters back there so you don't get a weird funky smell overall we love it hope you found this helpful highly recommend